Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics series on pre-calculus. So this is going to be our second video on absolute value. And in the first one, we explained the very basic concepts. And in this video, we're going to be explaining how to solve equations that involve absolute value. Um, and these equations are going to come out of our pre-calculus textbook. And you can find a link to that in the description of this video. So our first problem that we're going to solve is example 1.7.4 out of our pre-cal book. So our equation states x minus 1. The absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to 2. There we go. Now that looks more like an x. All right. So we can look at this statement as saying we are looking for our expression x minus 1 where it's equal to 2 units away from 0. So we're looking for 2 units away from 0 is either going to be positive 2 or negative 2. So our x minus 1 is equal to 2, or our x minus 1 is equal to negative 2. So now we can solve each of these like a simple algebra problem. So x is equal to positive 3, or x is equal to negative 1. And we'll have two different answers. Next, we're going to look at a problem that is a little more intimidating at the start. But it's not that bad. So this is going to be number nine, problem number nine from section 1.8 in our pre-calculus textbook. And our equation states x plus 1, the absolute value of x plus 1, divided by the absolute value of 2x minus 5 is equal to 1. So we are looking for where the x value where this expression is equal to one unit away from zero. And like any equation, like any expression, we can multiply both sides by the denominator to make this look a little bit easier. So if we multiply both sides by the absolute value of 2x minus 5, we'll have a simplified version of our equation, which states x minus 1, the absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to the absolute value of 2x minus 5. And so here, we've got absolute value on either side, which we haven't seen before. But it really isn't scary, because we're just looking for an x that fits this equation to make x minus 1 equal to this many units away from 0. So just like in our last problem, x minus 1 is going to be equal to the positive version of this expression, 2x minus 5, or x minus 1 is going to be equal to the negative version of this expression, which will be negative 2x plus 5. And so at this point, we can solve it like a regular algebra problem. So if we add 5 on either side, we've got x plus 4 is equal to 2x. And if we subtract x from both sides, 4 is equal to four is equal to x. And so we've got 4 equals x for one of our possible solutions. And we've got, if we add 2x to either side, we've got 3x minus 1 is equal to 5, and 3x is equal to 6, and our x value is equal to 2. So we've got our two possible solutions for x in this equation. And now, what if we have an inequality instead? So if we're solving an inequality problem, with that involves absolute value, we're going to solve example 1.7.6 out of our pre-cal textbook. And it states that the absolute value of 2x minus 1 is greater than 2. So here, we're looking to find an x that solves this expression and makes 2x minus 1 greater than 2. 
greater than two units away from zero. So we're looking for anything that puts us greater than two or anything that puts us less than negative two. We're just trying to make as many units as we can away from zero. We're just looking for more than two units away from zero. So using this guideline, we're looking for where 2x minus 1 is greater than 2 or where 2x minus 1 is less than negative 2. And we can solve both of these like a normal algebra problem. So 2x is greater than 3, which gives us x is greater than 3 halves, or in this problem, 2x is less than negative 1 if we add 1 to either side, and our x is going to be less than negative 1 half. So we've got our 2x, or 2x values that will solve this inequality. So thank you for watching our series or our uh, second absolute value video. And make sure that you click on the sigma in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen to visit our website for even more math resources.